Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel, and uh, as we are almost in the month of September 2019, uh, a lot of you have been asking me, where are we going with Windows 10? And that um, you guys would like to have, you know, regular updates on what's happening and where we are heading in the future. Uh, so, of course, we are almost at September, and the version that is coming out this fall is called 1909. Well, 19 is for 2019. 09 for ninth month of the year, which is September. So that means later this month of September, we will be having, of course, the 19H2 uh, version of Windows 10. No name yet, no dates yet. Um, a lot of people have been posting all sorts of dates and random stuff. What we hear is that um, rumors are that it would be called the October 2019 update. It is a small update, so it's a cumulative update. You're not going to have to, uh, you know, go through a uh, install like, uh, you know, the May 2019 update. And uh, it's going to be an optional update for the majority of people. So it's going to show up, but it's going to show up in... Uh, the download and install of optional updates so you don't you won't be forced on it unless uh, maybe you're in you know the main 2019 update uh, some of you that might not be there yet might be pushed to this version uh, the questions that come from a lot of people is well it's a cumulative update so will they update the uh, you know media creation tool and the uh, image, the ISO, will it have? Yes, all of that will be updated, even though it's a cumulative update. Yes, uh, it will be updated when the official release for everybody happens. So some of you have been asking, so we'll get this in September. Well, uh, usually the way it works is always pretty much the same. The first to have it are insiders about a week, two weeks before the official release. If all goes well, then it will be released to everybody afterwards. So insiders will probably get it in September in the slow ring. And the official release to everybody would be sometime around probably, you know, mid-October. Um, maybe close to Patch Tuesday of October, I don't know. But somewhere in October for sure, if all goes well, of course, because, you know, it all depends on everything going well and they're already testing it and the release preview rings so that means that you uh, we are very close to what will be the September the uh, the October 2019 update probably or 1909 at least as the number we know it will come in the build number 18363 one build increment from 18362 that is the May 2019 update so just the fact that it's only one number higher shows that it's a minor update. And, of course, the media creation tool will have that available. And, of course, it will come in a cumulative update once again in an optional download section if you wish to have it. Of course, as always, I'm the guy that gets this and tests it before everybody else. So uh, you'll have videos of what's up, you know, coming up. Uh, but we are there. We're almost at that point already as uh, we slowly get into fall in the northern hemisphere, uh, spring in the southern hemisphere, and um, we'll be uh, checking out the different features. So what features can we expect? There's not a lot of features, honestly, in that build. They have tweaked a little bit of, um, you know, the different aspects of, of Windows 10, but honestly... Um, there's really not that much to talk about and we're not sure if they're going to keep the uh, couple of new features they've been testing on or not because uh, uh, there's a lot of rumors that pretty much everything that is new will be switched off automatically and uh, will be kept for 20H1 which is the big release of early next year so we're almost there. We're almost at 19, uh, 19H2 or version 1909 or 18363 build. And uh, we're going to keep you up to date 
uh, no official name, but we think it's going to be the October 2019 update. And uh, no official date of release, but probably somewhere end, mid to end, end of September for insiders, early to mid October for uh, the um, regular folks that are on Windows 10. And once again, not a version that will be pushed to you, it's optional. So you can wait for 20H1, for example. And uh, it's interesting to see, you know, as we are moving on and now that the um, version um, of the May 2019 update is actually getting momentum as more than 33% of the people now have that version. It's going to be interesting to see these, uh, what's going to happen in the next month or so. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.